When Kirk Zenkner wants to take a hike, he's always got a companion to keep him steady on the snow, his walking stick. I tell people it's the original enhanced mobility device. <laughs> Since the early 90s, Kirk has harvested sticks from old logging sites. Well, this is what we get when we first come out of the woods. And like a magician, turned them into works of art treasured all around the world. I probably made 10,000 sticks. We tried to get a count at one point. It was impossible. Over the years, Kirk has developed an eye for what makes a good stick. The red alder just continued to be the stick of choice. He'll cut it down with a bow saw, bring it home, and basically leave it alone to dry. The stick's been drying for a year and a half, and uh, it's ready to work. I can kind of tell by the sounds. It's like a musical instrument. Listen to the wet one. Kind of a thud, kind of a nice tone. Each stick is cut to size and shaped by hand. I'll start to shape the top. I'll start to shape the hand grip area here. I'll get it pretty well shaped. Then I'll come down the stick, and if this bark is good, like it appears to be, I'll just hit these nubs. I'll knock them down and get them ready for the final sanding. In this noisy garage, Kirk can lose himself in the making of a stick. It's my zen, you know. It's um, You'd think after this many years of making them, I'd be a little tired of doing it, and I love it. I just love making sticks. Kirk is also a painter. I must have started this painting over five years ago, at least. His most treasured sticks are the ones with artwork, hand-painted using colored pencils. I'll do portraits on a stick. Uh, I've done a lot of dogs, horses, mountain lions, just about every bird you can name. In nearly 30 years, not one customer has ever complained about a stick. Kirk's only complaint, on cold days like these, he really needs one. I was an electrician for years and uh, my knees are shot. All the old timers said, you're gonna ruin your knees, kid. Well, and they were right. Yeah, I need it. <laughs> it's a walking aid for me now.